The Beast from the East, Chapter 19 I chased after them, down a wide path lined with more giant rocks. More bounty boulders? I stay in the center of the path, afraid to touch them. The beast stopped at the entrance to, the, to a tunnel. It was carved into the side of the largest rock I had seen. They ducked their heads and hurried inside. I fall behind, my heart pounding. Ginger! Nat's cry echoed off the tunnel walls. The beast growled and grunted, jabbering in excitement. Some pounded their paws on the ceiling and as it moved. Everything shook. The walls, the ceiling, the ground. Nat! I cried. I couldn't hear my own voice over the noise. I followed the beast out of the tunnel and into another large clearing. What's that? I gasped. In the center of the clearing, a large wooden box hung from a tree. It looked like an enormous birdhouse. I saw a tiny door on one side. A sign above the door read, Penalty Cage. We raised Nat high in the air. He held him up for all the beasts to see and spun him around and around. Nat screamed. Spork and the other beast stopped and clapped. No! I shouted. You can't do this! He must go in the box, Fleck declared. He touched the penalty rock. It's in the rolls. Gleeb tossed Nat inside the penalty cage. He slammed the door. Fleck dropped a large twig into the rough wooden latch to lock the door. Nat reached through the socks. Ginger! He cried. Get me out of here! The penalty box swung in the air. Don't worry, Nat, I called. I'll get you out. I shivered. He seemed so small and helpless. You can't keep him in there forever, I told Fleck. When does he get out? When we eat him, Fleck replied softly. 20. Next time.